a torch shot generally has a significant effect on the opponent because he will be confused after a certain point of time when you keep on playing the torch shot. But this place is only used when the opponent is in the front court. What is the use of going down a road when you don't know where you want to go? Because you are not going to stand there a few seconds to get ready. As soon as you reach for the shuttle, you should hit it. Hey friends, welcome back. This is Harish. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play the perfect toss shot and the important things you need to know while hitting the shot. This video covers everything you need to know about how to play the toss shot, why we should play it, where can we play it, what we can gain from playing the shot. So if you're watching this video without subscribing this channel, then you may never get the interesting videos which can be an eye opener for you. Now let's get started. So first let's see how to play the toss shot. To play the toss shot there are few important things to be noted at first and the main thing is your racket holding. You should hold the racket in the forehand grip only. To get a detailed explanation on that topic, check the short videos in my channel. And the next main thing is how you keep your stance when you are about to hit the shuttle. Because you are not going to stand there a few seconds to get ready. As soon as you reach for the shuttle, you should hit it. So when you go to the corner, keep the right leg at the back and the left leg pointing to the center of the court. This is how you are going to stand when you are about to hit the shuttle. After you get the two things in check, let's see how to play the toss shot. Keep the racket like this and the other hand aiming for the shuttle. Now just like pulling a slingshot as I said in the previous video, pull the racket down like this and move the racket like you beat someone, exactly like this. When you hit the shuttle, make sure you contact the shuttle at the highest point possible. And the reason is how much ever you contact the shuttle higher, that much time you can gain advantage over your opponent. Also when you are hitting the shuttle, your right leg should come front at the same time as your hand because after hitting the shuttle you should go to the center as soon as possible. Now after hitting the shuttle, bring the racket to the left leg like this. This is done because only when you complete the motion you will not get any injuries. If you stop it right away then you will get pain in your shoulders. You may think that the important part of the video has just ended, that is you know how to play the toss shot. But the more important details comes after this only. What is the use of going down a road when you don't know where you want to go? So now you should know why we should uh, play the to uh, toss shot. Basically toss shot is played to get timing from the opponent in order to get ready for the upcoming shots in the rally. Toss shot can also be used when you are, have been locked in a corner and the opponent gets ready to attack you. Next is where you should play the shot. Toss shot can be played in three areas of the badminton court. First and second are the forehand and backhand co uh, corners of the opponent court. And the third one is the center of the back court. But this place is only used when the opponent is in the front court. Otherwise this place is off limits and if you couldn't play the uh, toss shot in either of the corners then you can play various shots like drop shot or even smash a shuttle. If you want to know how to hit the perfect jump smash, check the description box below. The next thing you want to know about the toss shot is what we can gain by playing the shot. A toss shot generally has a significant effect on the opponent because he will be confused after a certain point of time when you keep on playing the toss shots. And another thing is when you keep playing a toss shot to a player who always aims to run to the center then you can easily make him tired and win the match. For example take a look at this rally. Many ways I think this rally can benefit Lee Chong Both of them are playing toss shots after a certain point of time. But even though it seems to be an easy shot, I'm sure both wouldn't have known how the rally is going to go. Because the game can change into anything, a fast paced one, a slow paced one or a rally ending shot like this.
So I have covered everything about how you can play the toss shot. So try this method and train your toss shot with the utmost accuracy and I hope you win the matches. Remember the points while playing the shot and if you find this video useful make sure you hit that like button and share this video with your friends so that they will also learn about these. If you have not subscribed to this channel then the loss is for both of us. So it is up to you and I will meet you friends in the next class. Until then this is Harish. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you friends. Have a nice week. Peace. If you want to be innovators, I am going to give you what type of what type of characteristic you must have. Invention and discoveries have emanated from creative minds that have been constantly working and imagining the outcome. The telephone, he was imagining the outcome, imagining the outcome in the mind. With the imaging and constant effort. All the forces of the universe work for that inspired mind thereby leading to invention discoveries.